well hey bitch it's jamie that's me here welcome back to my channel honey if you can tell from the video title child you know we're gonna be discussing a couple all right and it looks like homegirl was refusing to leave her baby shower for her man who really needed her okay he was really in a time of need and baby girl said i'm not gonna get up off the table so let's go ahead and talk about it because this is messy honey let's talk All right, we'll be reading along from a text thread between the guy and his girl, okay? Let me go ahead and put that up here. And if you're seeing this, you can see everything in the black, that's the guy. Everything in the green, that's the girl, okay? So we're gonna read this, and as we read it, you know, I want y'all to interact down in the comments as I'm going through this video, okay? So we can decide on who was right in this situation and who was wrong. Now, I came across these text messages on uh, Instagram, shout out to Celebrity, um, for putting this up there, and I saw in the comments where people were kind of conflicted, honey. Some people was over there like, girl, um, you out of line, ma'am, and then you had some people like, uh, he was doing a whole lot. So I wanted to bring this to, uh, you know, you all so we can, you know, chit chat about it. And I'll give y'all my thoughts. And I want to make sure y'all give me y'all thoughts down below. So let's talk about it. Okay. First things first, the guy says, hey, babe, what's going on? I called you three times three times. Okay. She says, I'm at Judy's baby shower. It's loud over here. Are you okay? He said, babe, I had a bad day today. Remember Tevin? He was in a car accident and the driver fled. He is on life support. Okay, he on life support. So then the girl goes on to say, wow, babe, I'm sorry to hear about that. Sorry you had a bad day. Are you going to see Tevin? He says, I can't. They won't let friends see him. And that's why I'm hurting. I've known him for 20 years and he has always been there for me. I'm crushed and scared for him. His sister said it's bad and they may take him off tonight. Now the friend is on life support, honey. You've been knowing this man for 20 years. Now that's really tough. You can't even get up there and see your friend and even say goodbye. And the sister saying they may go ahead and take him off tonight. First of all, girl, he's on life support. How are y'all making such a quick decision so soon? I'll be like, wait a minute. Give me a, so wait a minute, okay? If this just happened today, give me a second before you just want me to think I'm going to pull the plug today. Give me a second. Dang, they couldn't give her time to think. How they going to make such a quick decision and he can't even get down there to um see his friend or other family members can't come, okay? What's going on, right? So some ain't sounding right, but you know, let's keep going, okay? She says, wow, babe, I'm so sorry. He said, is the baby shower almost over, babe? I need you. I'm breaking down. Now, after not being able to see his friend, y'all, y'all hear this right. He said that he's breaking down. So Miss Girl goes on to say, no, babe, she has a lot of gifts and they're about to start opening them. What? <laughs> she goes on to say, um, then I promised her I'll help her clean up afterwards. I'll be another two hours or so. This ain't going right already, Miss Girl. <laughs> this ain't going right already. He said, babe, please just come home. I am feeling low and I just need a hug and comfort from you. I feel lightheaded and dizzy. I'm not handling this well. You can't have someone else help. I need you, babe. So this is him asking her, you know, to plead or pleading with her to come home because he's really he needs somebody. He needs some love. He needs some comfort. OK, she says, just eat something and put a warm towel over your head and relax, babe. I promise I will be home soon. Two more hours and I'll speed right home to you. Girl, I'm like, girl, these messages must be fake. Um, so I'm not adding up. Just eat something and put a warm towel over your head. I don't like this. I don't like this already. Okay. Um, he goes on to say, babe, when you first of all, why you had to come out like this right here, right? First of all, ma'am, you see your boyfriend going through it. He's talking about he lightheaded, he dizzy. Why you ain't just be like, I'm gonna go ahead and get up off the table and let her know she can get somebody else to help because an emergency came up, so I won't be able to hang out. Like, why you just couldn't go see about your man? Right. But just from the first sentence before I even read it, the first line, him saying, babe, when your grandma passed, it's kind of like. Now, why you want to go this far? Why you got to bring this lady, this girl, grandma into it? Right. And honestly, I'm sleeping. Like, why is you over here pleading with her to show up? 
Why? I mean, I guess that's what you do when you really want to be loved on by the person that you love the most. But at the same time, like, sir, you need to be trying to get the hell up out of this relationship. But let's keep going. OK. Um, he says, babe, when your grandma passed last year, I was at a basketball tournament. I had two games left and didn't even play those games. I was on the first flight to you. I clearly said I'm down. And you're saying your co-worker's baby shower is more important than my pain. You've been there five hours. You can't stop everything for me. Wait a minute. Five hours. Co-worker. Co-worker. This your co-worker. This is your. I'm, hold on. <laughs> Because y'all, I'm blind reading these messages as I'm talking to y'all, okay? So he's saying that he dropped everything when it came down to the basketball tournament to show up for her. And she's been at this baby shower of her co-worker, not her good friend, not somebody she's known for years, like he's known this guy for 20 years, okay? Um, this is somebody that she worked with, spent a lot of time with on a regular work week, and you decide to do their baby shower and be there for five hours and then planning on cleaning again, and then somebody you finna do another seven hours of cleaning, ma'am. That's a whole damn shift that you putting in and you ain't even getting paid for it. And you can't show up and be there for your man. That's selfish. That's selfish. And I'm like, you should have knew that from the moment the girl told you, baby, just take a warm a warm towel and put it on the top of your head <laughs> and go and eat something. Girl, I'm like, mm -mm. I'm like, you should know how that feels. You lost your grandmama a year ago, ma'am. And that's probably why he brought, not probably, that's why he brought it up to let her know how much he was down for her and he was there for her. And you mean to tell me you can't leave your coworkers even? This is a co-worker. Girl, good night. Let's go ahead and continue to read on because Miss Girl got her priorities mixed up, in my opinion. OK, I don't feel like he so far as I'm reading these messages, I don't feel like he's doing too much. I feel like the girlfriend is not doing enough. That's just me. But it also makes me wonder so far as I'm reading these messages, like, could it be that he always wants her to drop what she's doing to run and be to his be at his becking side? You know what I'm saying? Like. Does he always expect her to drop things and run to be there for him, which is why she's like, nah, I'll see you in a minute, which is why she feels like she's not rushing to get home to him during his time of need. So, girl, that's a mess. Let's go ahead and read on. Now, y'all pitch in down below and let me know your thoughts now. Now, she goes on to tell him, are you effing kidding me? How could you bring up my grandma? It is not the same situation. That's your childhood friend. That was my blood in all caps. In all caps, well, first of all, ma'am, um, 20 years, if you've known somebody this long, you know, and they really, they know a lot of your family, at this point, it's like y'all are related, like y'all sisters or y'all brothers or whatever. They are family at this point. So for you to say that my grandma is blood, girl, bye. I didn't like how she tried to d diminish who that person was to him. Um, in a way for her to just continue to hang out and stay with her coworkers. At the end, he'll be the gag. You out here doing all this for your coworker, but is they going to do that for you when it's your turn? Yikes. Let's keep going. OK, so then she says you're harsh to bring her up. You're a man acting like a female. A man acting like a female because he wants you to come to the house because he's he's grieving his friend that he may potentially lose. OK, girl, it got me over here wondering, is Miss Man really at the baby shower? Are you sure you at the baby shower, girl? OK, she goes on to say, I can't stop everything. I have obligations. And I said I'll be there in a couple of hours. I probably would not have said anything else to her for the rest of that night. I, I mean, you know, I, I probably would not have. Because at this point, the conversation is going to turn into an argument at this point. OK, <laughs> so and that's going to be bringing on even more stress of what he got going on. I probably wouldn't even say that I would have mm, either cut that phone off or put it on do not disturb. But I ain't got no words for you. And I'm going to feel away for about a week. OK, or I'm figuring out in my head how the hell I'm going to get from around you. OK, because if she'll show selfishness in this moment, I feel like it's shown up previously in other ways. And I would like to see how that, you know, what I'm saying what that dynamic looks like. So, girl, I don't know. But it also could be that you could be the problem, sir, where you always want her to drop everything just to be there for you. And this was the one time she said she's not going to she's not going to do it now that you got like a real issue at stake, a real issue on your hands. But at the same time, it's kind of like, uh -uh. stop talking to this lady. <laughs> OK, let's keep going. He said, I'm good. Stay at your co-workers. I'll call someone else. Ooh. 
Oh, not call somebody else. Girl, who he finna call? She should have said, it better be Ghostbusters. Good night. Don't do that. <laughs> but he said, I'm good. Stay at your coworkers. I'll call someone else. Thank you for showing me your true colors. Wish I didn't take, wish it didn't take two years to see it. Maybe we should take a break. I need to get my mental health in order. You don't have the time. Mm. Now he definitely hit her with the jugular much sooner than what I expected him to hit her with the jugular with. Okay. Now I thought he was going to try and plot and figure out his way to move on. Right. But then it seems like, um, he was like, nah, girl, it ain't nothing to cut that off. Okay, and ain't to cut that BIT off. And he told her to just stay, girl. He said he wished it would have took two years to see it, girl. <laughs> I don't blame him. I want to get his mental health right, child. But y'all have got to let me y'all know y'all thoughts. So she goes on to say, wow, you will call someone else? Is that a threat? You're acting soft and giving me ultimatums. Yeah, a break is what I need. I didn't sign up to take care of you. Girl, these messages is a mess, okay? Two years down the effing drain. Don't text me anymore. You're clearly speaking from an emotional state. I'll let you cope. Get well. I'll get my stuff tomorrow morning. He said, it'll be on the lawn. Bye now. Hilarious. <laughs> I'll get my stuff tomorrow morning. Well, okay, that's how you come get it, but you ain't coming in my house. It's going to be on the lawn. Okay, that's a different level of petty. <laughs> So then she goes on and says, do not touch my stuff. I'm serious. You're tripping now. I'm on my way home. Now you're on your way home? And now you're on your way home, Susanna? Now you're on your way home, Josie? Is that what it is? So you'll leave the house because he put your clothes out on the lawn? I thought you were so focused that you had to stay there. You've been there for five hours, but you was going to be there for another two. So which one is it? So let's read on. He says, wow. So when I tell you, look at there, look at there. I just said it. He says, wow. So when I tell you I'm feeling down, you're busy. But when I tell you your clothes will be on the lawn, you're on your way home. Wow. Yeah. Come get your shit. Baby. Baby, she would have came and got it. And I'm going to tell you this. I wouldn't have threw it outside. I probably would have sat it outside the door. I wouldn't have threw it on the lawn or whatever. I would have sat it outside the door. I probably would have gave them enough time to come get it. Now, if you would have caught me a few years ago, because I have, you know what I'm saying, my boyfriend had did something or whatever like that. Girl, I had politely. I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing. I went to Walmart. I got me a whole lot. Changed that lock on it and put all that stuff in the trash bag and set it right outside it over. He was shook when he came into that house. OK, but as I watch, also watch more and more of like uh, Judge Mathis and stuff. Girl, you can't be out here operating like that. <laughs> you can't be out here operating like that. Just throwing people stuff out on the line and stuff because you probably you likely going to be responsible for that. So give these people the adequate amount of time to come and get their SHI, dear. OK, and then maybe box it up real cute, take a picture of it like Amazon and sit it outside their door and let them come get it. OK, make sure you video everything, because if not, she's going to turn around and have you in the course suing you. OK, for at least 500 or something. All right. She goes on to say, my clothes are expensive. I'm on my way. Well, what about his mental health, girl? <laughs> Is his men mental health not expensive? Girl, I guess a girl, I guess, honey. Yes, I don't think, yeah, they should part ways. Um, you're acting brand new now. Unbelievable. He said, girl, you haven't seen unbelievable. Hilarious. Hilarious. Girl, that was a messy girl. Listen, when I think about it, I'm on the side of the guy. Y'all have got to let me know if y'all feel like the guy was doing too much. I feel like the girl was. OK, you had already been there for five hours. I would assume that you fulfilled your obligations to being there for them and letting them know, hey, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Something important came up. First of all, when you at a baby shower, it's not just the friends there. It's just not the co-workers. I'm sure it's our family there, too. OK, because when I went to my homegirl baby shower a few weeks ago, girl, it, I, I wasn't even on the duty to pick up or clean up anything. But I chose to when I was there. But when it was time to go, my man was ready to go. It's all right, baby. Let's go ahead and head out. OK. But I definitely, you know, picked up, helped out, whatever. So I'm also saying that to say I was a person that was invited, but I wasn't there earlier in the day and didn't stay there late at night. But I was a person that decided to kind of pitch in when we were wrapping up at the end of the night. So I'm saying that to say with this girl situation, like you ain't got to stay there for two hours. You really don't because somebody else is going to fill in where you left off and they're going to be willing to pick in and pitch in and, and pick things up and stuff. So you were just using that as an excuse. And I don't know if you just didn't want to rush home 
you know, you was having a good time or if it's because he always requires or expects you to be obligated to him and how he feels and things like that, which is why that was the night that you chose to like, girl, I'm done. I'm not going to I'm not going to leave or do anything. But as of right now, because I don't have the overall context um, and based on just these text messages alone, I'm on the side of the guy. But I would love to hear you all thoughts and comments down below. So please be sure to uh, chime in. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below, honey. I'm Jamie. That's me. Don't forget to like comment, subscribe, share my videos, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.